deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah My name is Psycho Hunter, and welcome to PXT. Now, tonight is an interesting night. I will admit, I thought I hit the record button when I did the explanation. But uh, for a quick recap to uh, both live stream and for recording version of this, uh, recording, you guys are gonna get, probably get a little bit more detailed version of this. But um, you guys will see uh, because a past version of me. Uh, okay, so awesome. I'm a past cyclone that's not doing this, but I'm gonna be thrown into the edit of PXT. So pretty much the hashtag that we were told to use for Pierce Perch was MSW, which that was gonna just be the quick hashtag for us to find him. And he said he was on the first page. This Pierce Perch is known as the savior Pierce Perch. I clicked the character and thought of, why don't I just go to content by the creator? He has been working on Pierce Perch and I believe now working on Twisted. And also wanna point out with Twisted, tried catfishing me I guess I don't know but he wanted twisted in and instead of just asking me on his actual account he either made a whole new account or he just used his smurf account so Pierce Perch the assassin Pierce Perch is still not on here because even on this one Pierce Perch is back the savior Pierce Perch this one doesn't even have description so I don't know if this is the one he's talking about that he thinks it is, but either way, it didn't have the hashtags that he said either, so I don't know. And then there's the ace hit McDonald has arrived. I don't know what that is. And then Beast Slayer Pierce Perch, Beast Slayer Pierce Perch. I get those those are the only Pierce Perches that are on this page right now. But he keeps getting he kept getting upset. With that said, uh it's fun to throw that in here real quick. Hopefully you guys enjoy PXC. But because of those series of events with Perch, the main event tonight is Bone Tubular, Shane Henry, and Jake Lawler to see who will take his spot at Hellfire in the triple threat match between View Grip and Rodrigo. Right now, there's an open spot. So that's going to be our main event tonight. But tonight is going to be an interesting night because Adonis has apparently wanted to uh, claim for a division switch match. Correction, a division switch rematch <laughs> against um, Abco, but uh, then he saw a bigger prize, and that bigger prize came in the face of the immortal Triple Crown champion himself, Electro. And Electro stepped forward and said, if you want even a chance on getting a rematch with him, you gotta beat me. So tonight, to start off PXT, we have Electrobe against Adonis here in PXT. <laughs> also, no problem. I feel like it's the right thing to do. Right. Here he is. The man, the myth, the legend, the triple crown champion himself. Honestly, I'm still amazed that we were able to get him in here. And not just that, honestly, even looking back on that match, because I did do checkups on it, you, I gotta admit, Electro did seem like he was really trying his hardest to at least, like, maintain his composure, because you gotta give Shane props as well. He held his own against a triple crown champion. So, honestly, it does make sense why Shane is gonna be in the main event tonight here in PXT. But, for right now, Electro looking to shut up Adonis, because though Electro is known as the Triple Crown Champion around the world in wrestling, Adonis is also known for his own things as well, for having the Night of Adonis to where not only did he win the Money in the Bank match on that night, he defended his tag team titles, successfully defended, ow that still hurts my damn ears, sex, successfully defended his tag team titles, and then went to cash in on John Cena to become the WWE Champion. So in other words, both men have their own accolades. So this is where this is going to be a very interesting match. Because honestly, now even looking back on it, I don't think these two have ever gone against each other. <laughs> even like back on my own private thing of PXT. 
I mean, they've never faced ever in history. Spectro looks ready. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. How, how many weeks in am I in this? Like, God, no, not even six. I think technically eight, counting the tournaments. I'm still not used to the no music. <laughs> oh man. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Adonis himself. He has went around the world, claimed titles left and right. Adonis going to win this if Electro had trouble with Rookie. He's going to have huge problems with a veteran of PXT. That is some bold claims, Shane. That is some bold claims. But you know what? You may have a point. But here's the thing, too, that we do got to remember. Technically, Adonis hasn't won a match here at PXT yet. So, so it's, still, uh, it's still up there. It is still up there. Anything can still go in this match. Oh yeah, I might see. let me get the logbook out here real quick. The Donis looks ready to possibly put down a former Triple Crown Champion here tonight. And I just remembered what I forgot to do. And that was to actually look at the chat and try helping out the chat a little bit because I noticed the chat sometimes spawns in a little late. Here it is, the start of the match. Electro trying to come in with fire. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Look at that, both being veterans just going straight for springboards. Both missing too, but Electro looks to take control. Adonis now coming back at it too. No, just to uh, clarify, the reason we're having this match is because Electro is Abco's older brother. Uh, Electro has been around the world, done a little bit more successful than his brother, but he didn't like the fact that not only is Adonis still shitting on Abcol's wins, but... Ooh, big knee to the face of Electro! But not only just that, he doesn't like the fact that now he is demanding more matches against his brother and hits him another knee, but this time for the top rope and Electro quickly getting up. Electro throwing Adonis to the ropes. Going under. Going over. What's Electro plan here? Ooh, good. Okay, that was a good that was a good setup there. Holy shit. That is now punching the face of Adonis, keeping him down. Oh, look at this. Now oh oh is he going? Oh. I believe he's going for a cross face, but I believe the long legs of Adonis saved him there for a second. This hits Adonis with a big elbow. Now trying to get some. I gotta admit, they're actually really good with back and forths here tonight. Ooh! Dropping his full body on the hardest part of the ring. It is. Ooh! Uh, a brain buster? <laughs> Looked more, like look more like a suplex, but I, it also felt like it hit his head, too. Throws him into the ring. Electro going for a springboard offense with the dropkick. Now going for the pin, looking to see if that's enough to put Adonis away. But no, Adonis still up and alive here tonight. But Electro looking to keep the offense up. Now going for a snap suplex. Electro in full control, but look at this. Adonis looking to reverse it now. Looking to gain an upper hand here. Oh, look at this. Knock two. Is that enough to put down the Triple Crown Champion himself? One, two, no. Electro was able to kick out. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Electro looking to steal the win here. But Adonis quickly kick it out. And the crowd wishing for the two to fight forever. A former WWE Champion going against a former US Champion, Intercontinental Champion, and World Heavyweight Champion all at the same time. I want to point out that is the right. He is the Triple Crown Champion. But now, it looks like he was trying to gain advantage, but Adonis quickly now reversing it back and hits it with a ripcord knee on the outside. Electro hitting chest first on the still steps, and Adonis was trying to get advantage, but quickly missed it. Now Electro, I don't know what Electro's doing. I believe he was shit talking to Adonis there for a second. Oh, by now we're at a count of six. I believe we might see a count out victory if so. Electro is already looking tired. That's honestly, yeah, I can see that. 
Oh, but Ad no, does someone look like a dog? No, but Adonis. Oh, 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 Adonis. Adonis did good faking out there. It looked like Electro was playing to catch him up. But look at this. Oh, a good sling blade right there from Adonis. Oh, ooh, shit. That was a big punch. Big chops now. Holy shit. Ow, that hurt my own ears. That was a big punch. Oh, look at this. Oh, good exploder suplex from the Triple Crown Champion. Right now, if Electro even wants a shit, oh my god, big shot there again. And now hits a Northern, well, yeah, Northern Light Suplex. Right now we're at a seven count, but Electro looking to bring Adonis back into the ring. He does not want to win by count out, he wants to win this. Legit, but Adonis catching him with a sling blade. And right now it looks like it is all Adonis in this. There's Electro. Oh! Oh, we're about to see the Triple Crown Moonsaults! There's one. There's two. And he calls the third one. The Triple Crown! There it is! For the win here! One! Two! No! Does not get the victory. So far, both men have used their finishing maneuvers. And both men have been able to kick out of him. Oh wait, here it is! Oh! Oh! Missed the electric talent! And gets caught with a super kick right there! Oh look at this! Here it is! Abdonis drop on the Triple Crown Champion and busted him over to one! Two! No! Electro kicks out! Gotta give the man props. I'm actually impressed he kicked out. Holy crap, the Adonis drop really fucked him up! Hits him with the top rope with an elbow! Electro is now struggling against Adonis. Adonis showing what he is made of here tonight. Oh, but look at this Electro now getting up. And again, getting caught in a sling blade by Adonis. Electro really struggling here now. Really struggling. Oh, he's able to come back. And oh, but gets caught with a kick. And now he is down on the outside. Adonis realizing it. I think Adonis realizes he might have the match win, so he needs to get him in and get him in for a pin. Look at this. Adonis going to the top. Goes for another elbow to the back of the former Triple Crown Champion and looking to put him away with that. One, two, and it's enough. And Adonis picks up his first win in PXT. I was actually joking, but apparently this is his first win in PXT. God damn it. And not just that, Electro actually picks up his first loss in PXT. And with that now said, it looks like Electro might have a tougher time winning the crowd over and believing that he is exactly how he was years ago in WWE. Either way, congratulations to Adonis for picking up his first victory here in PXT. Now, we are going to go on to the next match, though. Uh, the next match is actually a uh, rematch my brother wanted because uh, he finally decided to watch PXT. Uh, did. Saw his match against Onyx. He got pissed. <laughs> so, he demanded a rematch, and I was like, you know what? You get a rematch here tonight. So, tonight, we have Onyx versus Justin just in a regular match here tonight, people. Just in a regular match. Justin is a legendary high flyer, so in other words, he felt disrespected that he lost to a rook here in PXT. Here he is, one of the few men in PXT that has never been pinned in PXT. Yes, that is correct. Onyx does have losses on his records, but if we look at it, he has yet to be actually defeated in one-on-one -on -one combat. He has not lost at all, so it's actually going to be pretty interesting. Now, there is one thing that my brother did point out that I did notice as well. Why do the fucking characters look so goddamn bulky half the time? I'm going to be completely honest with you. I tried not to make him look as bulky, but uh, yeah, I feel like I failed. By the way! Onyx now here looking to probably put, not just put down Justin, but to show everybody that his win over Justin was not a fluke. It 
meant everything. And it proved to him that he can be a future PXT champion, whether YouTube or the main PXT champion. Onyx, this is actually his first time in wrestling in general, so he is doing a fantastic job, honestly, because hell, not being pinned so far, that is impressive against even legends at that. Oh, that's it, here he is. The high-flying legend of WWE, Justin. Justin has been a former WWE champion, former tag team champion. I feel like I always say his accolades because I have nothing else to say for him. But honestly, he's also a bit of a cheater as well. If nobody remembers on our, I believe, second show when Justin went against G7, the man paid off the ref to do slow counts. Yes, not even kidding you. Okay, to be, okay, to be fair with you and honest, it was probably a bug. But it fit really well because right after Justin almost hit the ref, the ref started counting normally again. But as far as that goes, Justin uh, try, tries to live by the Eddie Guerrero philosophy. Lie, cheat, and steal. In that case, he was trying to steal a win. And in the chat, apparently they say Justin will break the record and break Onyx in the process. That, again, another bold claims. Let's see if Justin can actually do that. And pick up his first victory here in PXT. So far, I won't lie, it, Justin and Devil have had... Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Tough time getting started here in PXT, but now even later tonight, we will see uh, Devil actually fight the crime boss of PXT as well. That will be interesting. Try getting word from Justin how he felt about the whole situation. We didn't get nothing. And Justin trying to go straight off the bat. But, oh, look at that. Oh, was it a distraction? Looks like it was a bit of manipulation there to get Onyx to lower his guard a little bit. But Onyx still coming back out as well. Holy crap with a big kick to the chest. Oh, but look at this. Justin possibly learning. Possibly learning his mistakes against the first time he went against Onyx. He made the mistake of underestimating him. This time around, it looks like he realizes he got an opponent. And again, looks like he's trying to do a little bit of dirty tricks here. Oh, I think he was going for a springboard, but Onyx quickly catching him and now throws him on the ropes and hits him with a big drop kick, dropping him down. And now going for, oh, a big shoulder tackle. This is the thing about Onyx. Onyx is almost like a hybrid. He can go full on force against you or he can bust out some shit that's out of nowhere. He's a hybrid of a powerhouse and a high flyer. Where he gets up with a kick up. Oh, Justin stomping the chest of Onyx. It is Justin going for a sunset flip. Power bomb into a pin, looking to put him down. One. Looking to give Onyx his first loss in PXT so far. But Onyx still going. Now gets it with a snake eyes into the corner. And Dustin's down. Kicking the back of Justin. Right now, Onyx is doing, again, a phenomenal job against the legendary High Flyer. And gets caught. Into, oh, but Justin's unfazed. And now comes in with a series of strikes. Justin is... Oh, I guess trying to go for the boxing hug, but Onyx was able to get out of that. And, oh! And gets tossed out of the corner. Justin now looks like he's rolling out. And look, look at this. Onyx showing a little bit of disrespect here to the legendary high flyer. Oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful move from Justin, especially on the outside on the mats. Oh, and again, again, just catching him in it. Oh, but look at this, Onyx kicks up. Onyx ready, Onyx going. Onyx coming in with full series of strikes, but Justin's back up as well. Both men are not giving each other the line of day. Holy shit. Oh, there it is. Big punches there, but no, Justin catching that big one. But again, Onyx looking to just keep control, but Justin's making it hard. Now tossing Onyx back into the ring. Justin looking to gain the upper hand here. They're at a count of six, and look at this. Justin going in with a big clothesline. Oh, what's Justin going for here? 
Oh, big drop kick to the face, and it looks like it busted Onyx open. I forgot to turn the blood off. Go with it. Oh, flatline. It's Justin with the flatline. Is that enough? One, two. No, Justin kicks out of the flatline. I'm telling you, Onyx's flatline is. Oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Suicidal pile driver. Here it is. It looks like he's ready to put down the legendary high flyer once again. There it is. And with that, I believe. No, Justin kicks out. The crowd is asking for one more flatline here tonight. But look at this. Justin still has some fight in him. Justin is tired of losing. He's tired of being called a goddamn old man. He's here to prove everybody wrong. He is here to prove that everybody that he can still do what the young guys can do. But then he gets tossed out of the ring by Onyx. I gotta give props to Justin. Somehow, some way, he is. God, he is still going. Got hit with two flat lines and a suicide of pile driver as well. Justin's still in there. Don't count him out, honestly. At this point, I can agree with you on that because I believe he is determined now to finally get his first win and to prove to the young people in the goddamn back that he is here to prove that he can still do this and keep up with the best. Oh, look at this. I'm going for a cross face on the outside. I'm going to probably wear him down to probably just make it easier to hit the pay dirt. Direction, flatline. Fuck. <laughs> Go with it. And look at this. This, see, this. this is what we were just talking about. Justin is goddamn perse persevering right now. Just not wanting to give up and get, again gets cut. It, oh, but he kicks up. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. He's really giving it his all right now. He wants to prove it. And Onyx, I believe, is now showing some frustration. What's Justin just to stay down? My God! Oh, I believe he was going to flatline, but I believe Justin blocked it. Look at this. What's Justin going for here? What's Justin going for here? Oh, look at this. Look, oh, 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 look at this. Oh, beautiful! Onyx is just a dirty cheater. I, I, I don't know about that, but okay. <laughs> I, don't know, I haven't seen any, any, if anything, I'd say Justin's more of a cheater than him because he paid off the exact same ref that I want to point out. Oh, gets hit with a shoulder tackle, dropping Justin to the apron on the outside. Oh, shit. Onyx going for a high risk, high remover, and it pays off. But Justin kicks up with the. <laughs> Justin is not giving up here tonight. He wants to prove to everybody, to everybody, that he's here for a reason. Oh my god. But Onyx, honestly, Onyx is just taking control at this point. Look at that. No, no, no now I can see the cheating part. Yeah, just raking the eyes there. My God, but well now we're at a count of six. I don't know what's going to happen. I believe, I don't know if Onyx is going to go for that type of victory. Justin, Justin Mike. Oh, okay. It looks like Onyx is not. Onyx trying to get Justin back in the ring and maybe Onyx looking to put him down with a, yes, it looks like he's setting up for the flat line. It is flat line. Is it enough to put Justin away? One, two, three, and it was. Oh, man. That's the rules out. Oh my god. I got I gotta get props to work to do. That was fucking fantastic. Holy shit. That was amazing. And again, apparently Onyx keeps up his record of not being pinned, but Justin sadly was not able to pick up his first victory here in PXT. Anyway, congratulations to Onyx for claiming another victory against Justin. Goddamn. <laughs> I gotta say this though, Justin was uh, Justin was actually fighting. Like he was really wanting to prove to Onyx that he's not just some old geezer just fucking here. No, he was like here, you know. Anyway, on to our next match of the night. 
Totoshi Makoto, that's right, the crime boss of PXT, has finally come out behind Ace and demand to fight the devil himself, to see if the devil is actually worth his time, see if the devil is actually worth all this trouble. So tonight, it is Satoshi Makoto, the crime boss of PXT, against Devil himself. Here is, ladies and gentlemen, the crime boss of PXT himself, Satoshi Makoto, with his newest employee, Ace. What, what, honestly, what is there to say about Satoshi? Satoshi, a former crime boss in Japan, cannot talk about the crime syndicate he was part of, because uh, then we, uh, <laughs> yeah. But, he left the business after an uh, accident that happened, as uh, he has said, because of the eye patch and everything. So because of that, he came here with all the wealth that was distributed between the crime family themselves, and he has chosen to be the actual brute fire that he is, that's right. And honestly, I will say that if anybody is the biggest cheater in PXT, I gotta say it's him. He's gotten away with the whole psh shit constantly, and that's how he's been beating Ace. Now the question is, is it enough to defeat Devil himself? As a question. I guess we will have to wait and see, but right now it looks like the crime boss wants to discipline his own demons here tonight. And one of them being the King of Hell himself! Now, we do gotta be completely honest here. Devil is technically in somewhat the same boat as his brother. Only difference is he's actually won a match. <laughs> Devil only has one victory here at PXT, but can tonight be his second? Can tonight he put down the crime boss of PXT? But no, I do also want to point out that the match has already been confirmed that it will be Devil against Satoshi Makoto at Hellfire. And same stipulation, if Satoshi Makoto can put away Devil, Devil will have no choice but to join the Syndicate. But now the question is, what is the stipulation match going to be at Hellfire? That is why this match is happening here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. The winner of this match will choose the stipulation match at PXC. Devil is unstoppable, even though Makoto is a cheater, Devil will preserve. Persevere, sorry, I cannot fucking read. <laughs> I can only hope you are correct. Because, <laughs> sadly, we gotta look at the books, honestly, and Devil, Devil has been struggling a little bit here and there. But now, the thing is... Though Devil was able to survive as best he could against Ace, sadly he was still, he still fell, the young up and comer. So what is to say that he cannot, that he will not also fall to the crime boss of PXT. Now yes, it's me saying that I don't believe in my character, but you know what, I, I think he got it. Possibly contemplating what's gonna happen in PXC if he possibly loses here tonight. No, this is not the one where if he loses, he joins. But this is determined what that match is going to be at Hellfire. Here it is! Satoshi Makoto coming in strong against Devil! All but Devil coming in with a big boot. Stopping the offense, but Satoshi quickly dodging as well. Uh oh. We'll be silenced for a bit because I believe uh, the door is locked and my family is not in home. I missed the match. Oh, shit. 
Oh shit! Oh my god! I've never seen that. Holy shit! He just grabbed Satoshi Makoto and fucking like ripped his throat out from the outside. And right now, it looks like Devils having full control and looking to. Is, I think he has him in a dragon sleeper. Going to choke the life out of Satoshi. Really good back and forth between the belt. I know, dang. I just came back and I just see, man, both men are actually holding up pretty good against each other. Oh, look at this. My God, this is amazing. Both men are, just cannot get the upper hand off the other. Well, using his boxing background to probably get prepared for a counter. Oh, coming in with a sliding leg drop. Practically a sliding leg drop. It just looked like his foot slid and he just kicked out. Oh, look at this. Devil playing a little bit of my games against the boss of PXT. Oh, look at that. Was able... <laughs> the crime boss was able to dodge. Possibly just jumped out of fear. Out of Devil. Oh, big punch there. And look at this. Another, another submission hold. Looking to just choke the life out of the crime boss himself. Can you imagine if Satoshi taps out here tonight? My God, it'd be it'd be crazy, honestly. Oh, oh, look at this! What is this? I've actually never seen that interaction before. That was amazing to see. And now, oh look at this! Oh, big kick! And he busted open the crime bus. Devil, I think is showing why he is what he is here. One, two, but no. The Toshi kicks out. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Working on the arm of Satoshi. But Satoshi trying to make a little bit of a comeback himself. But Satoshi planning on here. I think Satoshi was... Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. The practical mugging of now the devil. Back to just mugging devil in the corner. Oh, I believe... I is. Oh, I think Satoshi was... Either planning something or was thinking that was possibly enough. Ooh! Big shot to the face of Devil. And now going for the pin. One. But Devil kicks out at one. After everything that has happened so far. Devil is nowhere close to being done in this match. Big punch there, Devil. Now. Oh, look at this. Straight to hell. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Is that enough? One. Two. No. Satoshi kicks out. Devil's trying to wear down Makoto so he could start cooking. So far, I believe you are right because he just came out of nowhere with Straight to Hell. And now, <laughs> telling Makoto to get back up. And comes in with a big chop to the skull of Satoshi. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's going over. He was going over sign. But look at this. Now it looks like Satoshi coming in with maneuvers of himself. Oh, look at that. And again, Satoshi coming in with a spit to the face. Is it enough to put away Devil here tonight? No, Devil still going. Devil still kicking. The crime boss is going to have to do a lot more than that. And now again. It's it with two doses of the spit. One, two, no. Even the even Shade saying it's cheap. I 100% agree with you. Very cheap way to win, but in this case, he's fighting demons. He's going to have to go all out if he wants to. Oh, beautiful senton. Got to give him that. Holy shit. Toshi going to the top rope. Looking to possibly go. Goes with his blast, but misses. And he gets hit with a big boot by Devil. Big leg drop. Devil is otherworldly. We know of the phenom in WWE. But right now, Devil is a goddamn entity of PXT. Because holy shit, I don't know how the fuck he's still going. It's amazing. Oh, but misses the big elbow. Could that be? What? Oh. Oh, and Devil rolls out. Makoto might be rich, but he's still cheap. Hey, man. Hey, that's... that's <laughs> That's rich people in a nutshell. And he Devil gets caught with an outside dive. But he gets straight up. Oh, he's going for the jumpy clothesline. But quick 
just, just yeah, the, nowhere, nowhere close to getting to connecting. Right now, Devil is really struggling to come back in, and he was doing great offense at the beginning, but now it looks like Satoshi. Oh, look at this. Oh, big punch there. Big punch. And now Devil dragging Satoshi back into the middle of the ring. Oh, wow. I believe, I believe the punch is just let scars. Directly burning Makoto from the... Oh, oh, I think Makoto was trying to go for something, but quickly got caught. My Devil, no! <laughs> Gets slipped up and dropped down so quick. I also want to point out that Ace is not helping Satoshi at all in this match. Oh, look at that. Oh, I believe we were about to see Vintage, but look at this. Satoshi coming in with a reversal of his own and hits him with a drop kick. Ooh. Not hurting. Oh, misses the drop kick. Is Could this be Devil's chance? Could this be Devil's chance to prevail here? And hits a drop kick of his own. Going for the pin. One, two, three. And that drop kick was enough to put down the crime boss. Ace not even helping Makoto at all. And with that, Devil picks up another victory here tonight. And Ace looking looking a bit happy, but not just that. Because of Devil's win, he also gave Satoshi his first loss here in PXT. Lights went out. What happened? Oh! Look at this. Now looking back on the carnage he just laid waste upon. Oh, man. Hey, congratulations to the Devil on picking up his first or second victory here in PXT. Uh, honestly, God. God. Good fucking display. But because of that, Devil actually gets the stipulation for Hellfire. So now we're going to see what Devil's gonna choose between him and Satoshi Makoto because now because of that as well it looks like Ace probably won't be able to be on the ring side for Satoshi but even with that said uh, from what you notice Ace didn't help Satoshi at all so <laughs> I believe there's still some uh, heated tension with him in general it's all part of Ace's plan he's going to tear down PXC Mafia from the inside possibly it is possible but either way, on to our next match of the night. Uh, so, this rivalry is apparently just kick-started out of nowhere. Mox is hella pissed, mainly because of what happened last night after the match, where JetX was able to pick up another victory, his second victory here in PXC, against the lunatic Mox. Mox did not take kindly to what happened, but JetX is a... Uh, JetX says he doesn't even mind fighting Mox now because... He beat him once, which means he can do it again. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like we're getting word. Genix has changed his mind. Apparently, he said that Mox is no way, shape, or form even worth his time. No, but in other words, Genix will not be competing here tonight, actually. So it looks like Mox and Carlo Mendez will be the actual match here tonight. Uh, possibly Genix playing some mind games here tonight. Interesting. Very interesting. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, the lunatic of PXT again. Where the hell does he get the motorcycle? I don't know. We keep confiscating it. I don't know why he keeps getting it. Swear to God, one day he's going to get fined. But then that's going to go away too. They love the bar. Da, 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 da. I don't give a shit. Hey, gentlemen, we have the psychopath lunatic himself, Mox. Mox was able to put away Gen X recently, and uh, so far he asked for a match against Gen X here tonight, but it looks like Gen X just said not even worth his time. At first, he said it was easy peasy easy win for him so that's why he said screw it might as well do it but looks like things change plans change Here my chest now
I actually mean that. I believe my chat's not updating. <laughs> okay, we'll go with it. But now he's going to be going against Carlo Mendez, one of the triple, the tri triplets of the Mendez brothers. Carlo Mendez has a. <laughs> Carlos Mendez has always put himself first over his brothers, always. Mainly because when they had their first ever reign or first ever victory as a triple tag team, it was Carlo who decided to backstab both his brothers. And when he did that, he actually went on to become champions in his own division. And it looks like he is still looking out for himself. But even with that said, he bears the colors of his brothers as well. So, real question is, does he, does he hate his brothers? Does he love his brothers? That's a great fucking question. Oh, well, okay, I don't know what happened there, but okay. Mox going in for a big dropkick, but missed the small body of Mendez. And now Mendez... Oh, I believe Mendez is going for... Um, going for something there. I'm not sure exactly what he's going for there. Oh, big DDT right there to the face of Mox. There is now big punches. And oh, a big clothesline to the back of the head of Mendez and now Mox just taking full on control of this Mox I believe is a little pissed off mainly because he was very unexpected to fight Gen X but because oh big shot there I think he was ready to fight Gen X but because of what the last minute changes was I believe right now he's a little bit unhinged he's a little bit pissed off at the moment and quite frankly you can't piss him or you can't Blame him, in all honesty. I mean, damn, he is ready to fight boxing. Look! Oh, beautiful bridge into a kid. Oh, shit. Wasn't enough to put down Mendez, though. Look at this. Oh, God, I always hate, I hate when they do that. Ah, it hurts my arm. But look at this. What the fuck? The crowd saying break his fingers? What the fuck's wrong with y'all? Boom. I don't know who to root for, honestly. Same. And now my chat fixes itself. <laughs> in other words, that full on uh, part you put in, I didn't see anything. <laughs> no, I feel you. I don't know who to root for either in this case. Honestly, I believe Box is more. more pissed off than anything. And honestly, Mendes has nothing to do with this. Mendes is just trying to get a victory and hits. A beautiful. Sh uh, fuck, what was it called? Famouser! Always called it something else with another character I have. Oh, look at this. I think Mendez was probably going to go for something big, but Mox quickly coming back at it. Oh, look at that. I believe Mox is going for something, but Mendez quickly being a former champion that he is, coming back at it himself. Oh, big kick there. And now, oh, hit one of his patented knees to the face. And here it is. Is that enough to put away? No, it was not even close to put away Mox. I got to give Mendez this. He tries his best, but holy crap. I believe even now he's only been in a, I believe this is his third match. And he hasn't really won one yet. Oh, look at this. And here it is. Asylum. Isn't it enough to put away Mendez? No, Mendes kicks out of Asylum. Oh no, hey, you're all good. No, because honestly, I think my chat was messing up there too for a second because I couldn't see what that big uh, cat thing you said. I saw that said we talking about last week, but I couldn't see the rest of it. It didn't want to update here. I hear you though. Oh, Mendes coming with his own bridge, <laughs> showing a little bit of disrespect to Mox there. And now Mendes comes in with a big clothesline. Now I'm looking to just get control back into the match. Oh, my God, coming in with big suplex from Mendez to Mox. Insane. Oh, look at this. Look at that, going textbook wrestling here against Mox, the technician himself. Oh, big punch there, and what's... Oh, look at this. Here it is, Night Falls. Mendez thinking that's enough. Mendez has put away champions with that move is it gonna put away mox no mox kicks out at two 
Oh, oh God. Exactly giving him riplash right there on the neck. Holy shit. And it's going for it. Oh, it was going for a big splash, but quickly missed. By Mox, and Mox comes in with a big clothesline. A knee height clothesline. My God, it did its damage. Oh, what's Mox going for here? Mox, oh, going in for a submission. Looking to make Carlo Mendez tap out here tonight. Oh, well, look at this. Carlo reverse. Turning him over to get out of the move himself. I honestly didn't know what to call that. At least straight jacket, I guess. Oh, look at this. Oh, ooh, hits him with a snake eyes and it busts him open. And I believe Carlo saw that. It is now taking advantage with putting pressure to the head of Mox. Probably causing him to be more dazed than he already is. And already another big knee shot. Missed the end. Oh, good guy gets caught with a beautiful fucking suplex. Then a root from Mendez. I think Mox needs to hold his anger back until he gets his hands back on Gen X. I completely agree with you on that, honestly. Because I believe it's actually going to be costing him here tonight because Mendez looking to gain a victory, but Mox quickly getting out. I do agree with you on that, though. I do believe Mox needs to really control his anger right now because I get that he lost, but... You gotta really look at what's happening in the moment. And I believe it was about. Oh, shit! That was a jumping elbow! Holy crap! Oh, here it is! Look at. Oh, going for Asylum again on Mendez! Is it enough? One, two! No, Mendez kicks out. Oh, look at this, look at this. What's gonna happen here? Oh, beautiful move. And look at that. Just all work's done right there. That's what he was showing. But Mendez quickly kicking out. Or right, Mox quickly kicking out. Oh, there's Mendez catching Mox into a DDT. Mendez honestly really holding his own against Mox as well. Honestly, I didn't. Ex I was expecting Mox to probably get an easy victory, not going to lie, but... Mendez doing an exceptional job, only because Mendez hasn't really won a match yet here tonight. But even with that said, he is still fairly new, so he's still new blood. He doesn't have any losses. Tarnish his record. Oh, I believe. Was he going for an avalanche nightfall? I believe he was about to go for an avalanche nightfall. Oh, what's Mox doing here? Mox getting Mendez up, and now. Throwing, oh, and look at that, busting him open, same way Mendez busted Mox open. Very interesting here tonight. Oh, catching Mox with the side of the face with a kick. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, what's, I believe Mox again trying to go for the submission. Looking to make Mendez tap out here tonight. What's Mendez going to do here? Mendez tapping out! Mendez has tapped out! Fox is able to put away Carlo Mendez. Holy shit. I'm actually impressed right now. Oh, look at this. The cheeky little bastard himself. Gen X coming in and possibly talking shit to Fox. But Fox doesn't even get his ass to the ring, but it's not going to happen. Gen X is playing mind games against the goddamn lunatic himself. Goddamn. Congratulations to Mox, though, on picking up uh, his second win in PXT. Honestly, he has like a, well, like a 45%, no, 35% eh, record. But now it is on to, uh, to a Bio-War rematch. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Bugrip, the new PXT champion, makes his entering return to PXT after uh, taking a week off mainly because of a uh, well the hour-long Iron Man match that happened in Bio War to where both Bugrip and Rodrigo pretty much gave it their all they went to hell and back in that match and God uh, Rodrigo was trying pretty much at the end just to injure Bugrip and it did happen but sadly not as much as Rodrigo was hoping for it was only minor injuries to where we even allowed Bugrip to take a week off because well, it just made sense. <laughs> so because of that, uh, Bugrip is now here and he is looking to possibly put down Rodrigo again. Again, to just make the statement clear that no matter, even if you are in this match, he can still put you down. 
It is Feel Grip against Rodrigo here tonight. Pissed, but because of what happened last week. Oh, what's this? Going to the ring. Oh, look at this. Oh, just smack in the face. There it is. Oh my God. I swear, I'm more in love that this rivalry is continuing from like five years ago. <laughs> look at that. This is why I love these two. They both just fucking hate each other right now. While Drigo's just taking full advantage of the match. Just, first it was Bugrib just taunting away at the former PXT champion. And then <laughs> fucking Rodrigo was just like, fuck you. Just smacked him straight up in the face at the beginning of this match. Just showing the disrespect. I swear. It's beautiful at this point. And right now Bugrib's taking control. But Rodrigo coming back at it himself. Coming with big punches. And now throwing Bugrib to the corner. And hits him with a big clothesline. I think Rodrigo wants to play mind games. I agree. Well, honestly, I want to say Bugrip was trying to play mind games. Rodrigo's just brute force. I think he was just like, nah, fuck that. Fuck you, asshole. Because <laughs> right now, Rodrigo is the menace of BXZ, the blue menace himself. But he has struggled to even get not just an advantage, but just almost even get close to pinning Bugrip. Now, we'll admit one thing, though. At BioWar, Rodrigo was able to get the first pin. If it was a regular match, Rodrigo would still be our PXC champion. But even with that said, that could be said with any other type of night and match. Point is, Bugrip is our PXC champion. Our deserving PXC champion, I want to point out. Oop. Rodrigo's going in for a shoulder tackle, but gets caught. Now Bugrip again. This is Bugrip. Really just showing a lot of disdain to Rodrigo at this point. And like I said, can you blame him? These This rivalry goes back to all the way like five years ago. When we first tried to launch PXC, his foot was too underneath the rope to go for it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Again, man. Just the sh... Both men just have so much hate for each other. Rodrigo has hated Bugrip since that fateful night five years ago when Bugrip was able to put him down for the PXC Championship. And then Rodrigo was able to redeem himself by being our first ever PXC Champion this time around. Bugrip set that right by defeating him. Now Rodrigo looking to just at least get some type of chance back at the PXC Champion and now comes in with a big clothesline. These two went to war two weeks ago at BioWar. Now it looks like we're seeing a little bit of a rematch of that and hits the lava lanch. Is it enough to put down? Oh, the champion's arm was underneath the rope. And now Bukip rolls out to at least get a moment. My God. And there's one thing I gotta just give Rodrigo props on. It's his show of power, show of strength in general. And just show of dominance as well. He's a very aggressive fighter. And he shows it! God, and the steel barricade as well. Now just looking to work on the back of Bugrip. Try to injure it as much as possible. But look at this! The <laughs> Bugrip just coming back at it. Coming in with a series of strikes to the head. Right now, Bugrip just looking to gain a little bit of advantage. And not wanting Rodrigo to come back at it either. And look at this! That's Bugrip. That's Rodrigo up, sorry. And now, oh, <laughs> returns the favor of putting him back first into the steel barricade. There's a count of seven. Bugrip rolling Rodrigo in, wants to end this. No more, but get caught into the discus. Is that enough to put away the PXT champion himself? Rodrigo dragging him, realizing that he's wasting a little bit of time. Is it enough to put away the PXT champion? One. Two! No! New Grip kicks out and tries to get back up, but Rodrigo quickly getting him up as well. Oh! oh. New Grip using the weight he has, which, God, the man's a good, like, 245. There was enough to just drop Rodrigo on his back. Man just colliding with each other. New Grip gonna go for it here. Thank Rodrigo to the ropes. 
Uh, I don't know what was supposed to be set up there. But here it is. It's a backbreaker. These two men have gone. Gone to war and they just still continue to go to war. It's, it feels like every hit actually means something. It feels like each hit is just actually... Get hits with just so much hate and hitters! Beal grab to the former PXC champion to put down Rodrigo! No! Rodrigo kicks out at count of two. And look at... Oh! Beal grip showing frustration. Now just choking the life out of the former PXT champion. Rodrigo now going to the... Correction, Beal grip going to the top. What's he going for though? Oh, he's going for a crossbody, but gets cut by Rodrigo. Rodrigo getting him up. And now, Lava Lance. Rodrigo catches him into a Lava Lance for the win. Holy shit. And Rodrigo looking to put him away with the discus. As they're about to put away the fourth BXC champion. One, two, three. Rodrigo has finally done it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am stunned. I thought I'd actually never see the day that Rodrigo will put away Bugrim. In the five years these men have gone against each other, Rodrigo has never been able to put away Bugrim. Holy shit. Oh, crap. God damn. That's insane. Well, congratulations to Rodrigo. After five years of these two just absolutely hating each other, he finally, finally gets a victory over Bugrim. Congratulations to Rodrigo. But now it is on to the next match between the one man that has been, if one, God, if not possibly, the most dominant force in PXT so far. He is the White Viper of Russia. He is yet to be pinned. He is yet to even be close defeated in any way, shape, or form. Every time he is in a match with anyone, he shows nothing but pure dominance against his opponent. But now the question is, can he put down Wait, what? Oh, come on. Are you sick? God damn it. What? God damn it. We're getting more fucking news. Apparently, C. Jill is not competing tonight either. Instead, what is happening? It is Super versus the Kid. Because the Kid right now is a little upset that he is not actually being thrown into the match at PXT Hellfire. Because technically, he was the runner up. So, because of that, the Kid is apparently wanting to take out his frustrations. And uh, I guess he decided just to go for Super, and Super just agreed. Mainly because C. Jill has apparently skipped out on the match. I, I have no idea what exactly happened with C. Jill, but I guess that's what's happening. So now, it is the giant, the new eighth wonder of the world, Super! This man is seven foot tall, holy shit. I was actually excited to see him go against C. Jill here tonight. But it looks like right now no one can find C. Jill. Although we are hyping the match consistently because I was excited to see the White Viper of Russia go against Super for a stipulation possibly. But then again, honestly, I think C. Jill never wants stipulation in his matches. I believe he just wants a one-on-one -on -one fight. But I guess because Fire War, he had no choice. He chose no holds barred because no holding back, in other words, for both him and his opponent. Jill is a prideful fighter. That's one thing I will give him. But holy shit, one thing that we can say. I was too. I won the clash for the Titans. Honestly, honestly, I wanted to see that. It looks like right now, because C. Jill is somewhere, the crowd gets 
the kid himself, the Galactic Kid, the Galactic Outlaw. Now, I know the kid is a little bit upset, mainly here at PXC, because one, not only was he the runner up in the number one contendership match for the triple threat match in Hellfire, but I know he is also upset because he, well, he's not getting the shot, sadly. I guess right now he feels a little bit betrayed, so he said screw it, he'll go out here and fight the giant himself. Now note, the kid has been able to put away Super before, so this could be an actual good test for Super to probably gain a little bit of momentum if he can take down somebody that took him out. So this could be a good match for Super if he picks up a win to gain some momentum against someone like C. Jill. C. Jill is the YouTube champion, Super number one contender for the match, for that matchup at Hellfire. And now, Super, oh! The kid, again, the kid, I'll give the kid this, holy, oh shit, now just damaging the knee. Now the qu oh, big punch there, look at this, Super coming with big punches against the kid now. And, oh, just tosses the kid down, and, oh, okay, I just saw a giant jump, holy shit. And, oh, oh, God, ref, check his arm. God damn, that's like 400 pounds of weight on the arm of fucking the, of the kid. Holy shit, man. Ah. Look at this now. Super going in with a super bear hug against the kid. But the kid, being a galactic outlaw himself, knows how to get out of those type of situations. And, oh, gets him with a jumping neck breaker. He needs to wear down the legs of Super to try to get the win here. I agree with you, but honestly, even when he didn't do that on their first time around, he was still able to put him down. But I do agree with you. That would be his best option. And now Super just coming back at it himself. And Super, oh, 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 I think he was going in for a big, like, body. Oh, there it is. He just throws his whole body against the kid. Honestly, this is the one match I am absolutely excited to see is super against cj at hellfire it is going to be the clash of titans in that case and it also sucks because titan was actually like you know a titan and he <laughs> that match was only six minutes at bio war i want to point out so cj is showing that he is a dominant champion so holy crap and now oh i think the kid i think the kids is going i don't know if he's going to break it or he was going to hope and pray that Super wasn't getting up, but Super quickly got up. Oh, there it is. Oh, snap DDT right there. The kid going for the pin, but he's too close to the ropes. Uh-oh. Going for another. Oh, God. Just sends the kid flying over his shoulder. Oh. Oh, look at this. Super going in for Super Yuranagi. Here it is for the win. One. Two, the kid kicks out with the Super Uranagi. Oh, it's going for the big boot, but the kid was able to dodge and gets up with another jumping. Neck breaker, holy shit. I gotta get props to the kid. The kid has, the kid knows how to adjust his fighting style against anybody. I think the only person he did not know how to adjust his fighting style to was Sadly, a person that is no longer going to be here at PXT. And now, oh, oh, the kid actually reversing it. Oh, it was going with a drop kick, but Super quickly reversing it. Catches the kid in a big clothesline. And again, it is Super in control and just stopping on the chest. And the kid, the kid, like, just like Shade has said, the kid really needs to start working on the legs of Super. Oh, 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 honestly, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And that was a big fall right there for Super. God, man. Every time Super hits the mat, it's just like a... Oh, fucking rocks the world at this point. Oh, but Super now sending the kid on his back. Oh, just throws the knee down of the kid. Oh, the kid comes in with a big punch. Oh, look at this. Double barrel. He hits the double barrel. Is it enough to put Super down? No! Super kicks out! 
Oh, look at Oh, look at this. The kids. The kids showing frustration here tonight. Oh, my God. That's a side of the kid we've actually never seen. The kid is absolutely pissed off here tonight. I just want to point that out. Oh, it's the back of Super. And holy shit! Oh, God! Gets it with a beautiful knee shot! No, does not. It's still not enough. Still not enough to put Super down. The kid needs to really be renamed to the Lumberjack if he wins because he might take down Super with a timber. <laughs> oh, wow, that's actually really good. <laughs> And that's what we've been saying about G7. Oh, look at this. Oh! Good leg sweep there. But now, oh, I think the kid's going for his master's move. He's going up a shooting go! He's going for a shooting comet, but misses! This could be super shot. Oh, big power slam there! Oh, this could be the end of the kid here. There it is! Super got the kid up! Oh, he locked! The kid still has some fight in him! Fighting back! Trying to get out of that maneuver! But Super coming back as well! Man, I gotta give props! The second round match is actually... Holy shit! I also want to point out something. In their first match, the kid did that same maneuver almost like five times. Literally five times! And I think Super finally learned from that and hits the big boot! Oh, good knee shot right there! Look at this. Super is showing that he has learned from his mistakes. Oh, God, no. No. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Big knee to the chest. Holy shit. One, two. <laughs> so now the kid kicks out. We just saw a seven foot, 400 pounder go to the top rope and go knee first into the chest of the kid that gets caught in the Super Uranagi. Is that enough to put the kid away? No! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Super throwing at everything he got now. That's the kid. And now the 400 pounder. Oh, big splash. And oh, this is the big boot. And the kid comes in with a jumping neck breaker. The only type of offense he knows to jump super down. The kid, not, man, I gotta get props to the kid. He is proving why he should be in the title picture shot right here tonight. Holy shit. Oh, but look at this. Super looking to gain into a bit of an advantage. Oh my god. Gets it up in the suplex position, but it just drops him on his back. And now just throwing him across the ring. Oh, what's this? What's this? And, ooh, big slam to the chest of the kid. Oh my god. Oh, it was going for a big clothesline, but the kid reversed it. And now again, going in for a good leg sweep, but super quickly rolling out. Man, I gotta get props. This rematch is <laughs> so much better than the first match. Holy shit, because super is actually fighting this time. He's not, oh, look at this. Again, learning from his mistakes from the last bout these two had. And the kid still giving Super, oh god damn, a big punch to actually drop Super down. But now Super, how's he gonna get caught into the Comet Splash? Here it is, for the win. One, two, and with that, the kid puts down Super once again. That is honestly not good for Super because now that puts Super at a five. God damn, lost streak. And the kid gets his praise and everything. And now with that, actually the kid only getting one loss here in PXT. I think the kid was making a statement there tonight. Mainly saying that we should reconsider him possibly being in. We'll see. But either way, now it's on to the main event. The main event, the triple threat match to determine who will replace former PXT wrestler Pierce Perch in the main event of Hellfire. Will it be Jake Lawler? Will it be Bone Tubular? Or will it be the newest signee of PXT, Shane? We are about to find out here tonight.
the self-proclaimed god of PXT. You know when he heard the word that he got an opportunity, finally a chance to actually correct a wrong, which was him being in the title picture shot over Pierce Perch, he said yes so fast. Jake Lawler wants to prove to everybody that there's a reason they call him the God of Wrestling and he's about to prove it here tonight by winning not just this triple threat match but hopefully to win at PXT Hellfire as well. Now, one thing I do gotta say here is that Lawler, we haven't really seen him that much. He ain't no God, he's a baby. Oh, that's a... That's a, great, that's a great way to put it here. So far though, Baller has actually been, was actually the only man to actually put down Pierce Burke. So maybe, maybe there's a reason he's in this match, maybe. But now there is one thing I do also gotta say, none of these originals have actually gone against each other just yet because Bone Tubular has actually not gone against Jake Lawler. So that's what this is gonna be a very interesting type of match here tonight. Bone has been on a hot streak as of late. And sadly, the hot streak did end last week when he did suffer a loss against Onyx, but he says that that was not a fluke, but just a minor setback. Looks to probably gain the title opportunity to prove to everybody that he's still going to be the fastest PXT champion in history. Now, time for the newest signing of PXT. Shane Henry, the outcast. Jane Henry was put into this match mainly because he was able to hold his own against the Triple Crown champion himself. Jane came out off the bat, literally went straight to the champion as if it was nothing more than another fighter. Jane showed no fear, no hesitation, any set of his move sets last week. Now, was he able to pick up the win? We'll admit no, but it was enough to even have him into this title picture shot. Now, the question is, can Shane pick up the victory here and be one or if not the quickest rising stars? In PXC history. We're about to find out here today. Shane's going to break bones like a tree. That's good. Actually, yeah. Probably. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The triple threat match to determine who will be in the triple threat match at Hellfire. Who will win? Let's find out. Look at this. Lawler staying in the back. And look at this. Look at this. Take a little bit of an advantage there. What's going on here? Oh, look at this. Lawler and Shane looking to take out the speedster himself. They realize if they let him get to run quickly, Lawler breaking alliances. And Bone now coming in. And oh, beautiful dropkick from Shane. And Shane now was about to get caught. Oh, Shane did get caught by Bone though. He's about to get caught by Lawler. And look at this. Oh, look at this. Bone now just taking on both men and putting them both down. Bane hesitating, but look at this. Lawler coming in with strikes. Bone reversing. Bone now gets him up and oh, drops him. Knee first and shake comes in with a big close line to the back of Bone. Bane rolling out. Oh, Shane thinking smart because there is no. Oh, outside dive from Lawler and Shane just comes in with a weapon. I will be honest with you, Shane being the smartest man in this match, but gets caught by Lawler with a dropping brain buster. But being the smartest man in this match, realizes it's a triple threat match. Oh, beautiful DDT there. As I was saying though, realizes triple threat rules, which means no disqualification. Weapons are allowed. Bone now being the only man standing, but everybody quickly getting up. Bone looking to toss Shane across ringside. Lawler throwing, 
Blowing Bone into the ring post and getting caught by Shane. Shane now sending Lawler across ringside. Oh, Bone is looking to come in. I'm, honestly, both men, and all men actually in this case, are just going, are sticking straight up each into everybody's grill at this point. Holy shit. That Lawler sending. Bone flying, and look at this. Shane getting him up and throwing him straight down. Oh shit, Bone got the back and hits Shane across the back, but Shane still go, oh my god, now it just looks like both men are just practically just focusing on Shane, what the hell, Bone was using the bat as a big time equalizer, but now look at this, Lawler just coming in off the bat as well, Lawler coming in with big strikes and sends Shane across ringside, and Bone taking advantage of his Opening spot, and so is Lawler with a big knee shot. Lawler was getting taunted on it. He just was spotted with a big knee shot, and Shane sneaking up against Bone sends Bone across ringside again up to the ramp. And now Shane, oh again, hitting a beautiful DDT. Oh, getting bent. All men are just tossing each other at this point. Looks like, oh, Bone going in to utilize the bat once again, but Shane quickly stopping it. Shane looking to get stuff back in the ring, sends Bone back in the ring. Lawler was looking to stop it, but again, Shane's just trying to get stuff back into the ring. Being the only man thinking of sense, the only way the match is going to end is inside the ring. Oh, Lawler comes in with that. Oh, look at that. Right now, Bone is just, I, oh, God. Oh! Oh! Beautiful! Holy shit! I don't even know what happened! I was too busy looking at Lawler! Oh! Who are the lights? Isn't it enough to put Shane down? No! Only gets a one count! I actually don't know what happened in that scenario! Oh! Beautiful knee! Here it is! One! Two! No! Lawler kicks out! And oh, whoa, 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 almost, God, almost looked like he was about to snap the neck of Shane. A big kick there, hits another big kick there. And now it is all Bone and Lawler inside the ring. Shane taking a moment to at least gain some sense in the match again. But look at this, well barrel, Bulldog, oh, it gets kicked on the, across the chest. If I was Shane, I would focus on putting down Bone. If he puts Bone down, he could go for a pin against... Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, look at this. Oh, I believe Bone was going for the finisher. Oh, look at this. He hits it. Goes for the pin, but Shane quickly there to stop it. Oh, and Shane now giving some payback to Bone with the bat. And look at this, Shane being the man standing with the bat and was about to hit it on Lawler. But, oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, Lawler going for it. Lawl. Oh, oh, is Bone going to steal the win? Bone looking to steal the win here. One, two, three. Bone has picked up the win and is number one contender for the PXC Championship. Bone just stole the win again. God damn it! Holy shit, I gotta get props though. That was amazing. Rematch. <laughs> Man, that was, I, was, I gotta be honest with you, that was still a pretty good match though. That was a pretty good match though. Well, uh, that's gonna be it for me tonight, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a great night. Peace out, guys.